let's talk about the Peak Design Everyday Backpack 30 Liter. As a disclaimer, this product was purchased with my own money and this is my personal experience and thoughts. So basically, I was looking for a video and photo camera bag that I could use. I wanted something that was aesthetically clean, could pack a lot of stuff. I've tried a couple sling bags, I've tried messenger bags, but I just don't like the weight distribution that it has on one side of my body most of the time because I do have a problem with overpacking. So to me, in the middle of getting where I want to be with how much stuff I want to pack and also getting enough comfort, I've stuck to the 30 liter everyday backpack. Let's talk features. I like the suitcase pass through. I like the magnetic touch. I like how you can grab it from many places. The different mounting points. So if you want to stick a tripod or a blanket or something. The additional waistband that you can get. The secret pockets. And just the form factor. Stands okay, but sometimes that's not always the case. Laptop sleeve can be a little tight. I believe this can fit up to a 16 inch, definitely a 15 inch laptop, but I could fit my iPad Air and my MacBook Pro 13 inch in here together, no problem. Again, I like the additional pocket towards the top. I don't necessarily like how it shares the same space as the top bunker up here. I also like how for the most part, if it were to rain, the rain would just like drip off the edge here and not necessarily drip inside the bag. So your stuff would be good. I like how you can secure the zippers with the attachment points, very good use of space and materials. And I'm just glad that it came in black. But my favorite is the pockets. I stuff a whole bunch of little stuff in there. Toothpaste, plastic bags, batteries, other camera accessories. And again, I overpack because there's just so many pockets and there's less opportunity for loose items. I also like to have this camera clip. Well, that's better. So I will just take the camera, boom. I prefer this to be on my shoulder strap as opposed to around my neck. And when I'm ready to get the camera again, just press the button. It's, it's smoother than that, I promise. I'm going anywhere. I do use the camera strap, but most of the time I will just. And this is also a Peak Design plate that be able to be used on this and also Manfrotto quick release plates. Instead of using this and attaching this for your backpack strap, you could also attach it to your belt. It's a two-piecer. I have the camera clip and the pro pad. If I'm going for long walks, like in New York City, I'll deploy like waist straps. Like a hiker's backpack, I'll just cinch it right around my waistline. I'll be good to go. So that it's, of course, off my shoulders and more on my hips. This is an extra, by the way. So what does this thing actually promise? Well, for one thing, there's a lifetime warranty. Now I've cycled through many bags, but there was one time that I had a bag with a zipper problem. And even though I got it from eBay, they still fulfilled the warranty. And they also promise that they make these bags sustainable. So if you're conscientious of putting waste back into the earth, this company is one of those companies that just keep going green. Some things that I find discouraging about this is security. I do like the features and the look of the bag, but sometimes I question the safety of the gear on each side. They do have like security loops, but there's one side that I usually leave open that's easily accessible for me. I wouldn't leave expensive stuff on the top for easy access for someone to just pry open. One of the things that I like about this bag is that I don't have to put this bag on the floor for me to access all my gear. Swing it around and then reach for my gear. Conversely, it's also a hassle if you forget which side of the bag that you put your stuff on. Because it has these like flaps going on, you may just restrict like a lens or a body. Because of these adaptable shelves, you may leave a lens or a camera body on one side of the bag versus the other. So it's a little tedious to go back and forth from left to right. But if you're like me and you have a simple setup and you don't flip these things up so often, you'll be okay. Typically, because I swing my bag over to my right shoulder, I'll have this side always locked up, especially when I'm traveling. And I don't want anybody to just open my bag and swipe whatever's inside. Or people, or somebodies, because some people of the same feather flock together. But anyway, yes, you can stow it in a way where it all makes sense in the bag. However, if you're not used to organizing your gear like this, it may seem more of a hassle. Whereas you may prefer the flat layout where you do have to put the bag on the ground. And if you're looking for that kind of bag, you're probably looking at the Peak Design Travel Bag 40 liter. Since this bag is more for side axis and not for flat leg. Now personally, I sold my 40 liter because I just overpack it, kills my shoulders. I had no restraint with that backpack. So I forced myself into small places and this 30 liter is, it's fine for me. And on top of everything, this thing is expensive. I bought it used. They have a used marketplace in beta right now specific to Peak Design, but you can just scour the internet, whether it's eBay, Amazon. Now is this bag worth it? For the features, the comfort, and the potential for longevity, yes. There's a reason why you pay a premium for this kind of bag. When I bought this, I considered it almost like the last bag that I'll buy, at least for camera and everyday stuff. 
Is it the bag for you? If you're willing to invest the time and the money, you can give it a try for 30 days. And if you don't like it, you could always send it back. For me, I advocate for this bag because I like the pockets. I like the modularity of the different shelves. I can use the shelves or not use the shelves. And of course, the versatility overall. I can use this bag and fit almost whatever I want. Maybe you might be overdoing it, but what if there was another slim pocket here? I mean, you have one in here. I would like for both of these to be zippered pockets, but not a big deal to me. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried this before? Do you like the bag? Is there something that you wish it had? Firstly, I would like this bag in a flat lace style as well. If you wanna see how I packed the bag, let me know in the comments. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite tools to help me carry my stuff as a minimalist. Here's my other minimalist videos. And maybe you'd like to break the vibe and go for YouTube's recommendation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.